day one of the road trip, uh, first stop of the road trip. We spent the last couple days exploring Seattle and now we're driving to Olympic National Park. But we had to stop at this bridge and it was a bit of a challenge to get out here, not gonna lie. I'm with Daniel Kuba and we're just going to get some really cool uh, videos and photos out here, maybe put the drone up and explore it a little bit more. So we made it here to Ruby Beach. Uh, we had to cross the stream over here to get to the spot with like some really smooth sand and this really cool rock formation back here. Kuba is over there setting up a fire and we're hoping to get some cool shots with the fire, hang out and uh, enjoy the sunset that we were supposed to have. What's the fire update, Kuba? Not looking too hot. We don't have any paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're trying to make a fire right now, and to be honest, we're not that good at it, so hopefully we can get it going. We've been trying a couple of different techniques, and so far, I'm not sure it's working. All right, Fernando, time to shine. Ooh. Look at that, guys. After spending the night on the beach by the warmth of the fire, the next morning we were on the move again. We were greeted with a rainy day, but that only added to the immersive experience of exploring deep into some of Washington's famous rainforests. So Daniel and I are now hiking towards Mount Storm King. We've heard it's a really challenging hike, so hopefully we make it all the way to the top. Your shoes are gonna be a little bit of a situation, but. Yeah, I'm wearing uh, not the best footwear, just regular shoes. We'll Dan's see. got his boots, so he's a little bit more prepared than me, <laughs> so. Um, but I think I can manage. <laughs> okay, we haven't even been hiking for that long, and yes, it is really steep. 
Um, it's apparently a 2,000 foot climb up and we're already exhausted, but we are determined now to make it to the top. <laughs> let's do it. Right? All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go. keep going. We made it most of the way up now to the top of the hike. You can see the lake there behind me. There was a lot of fog when we first got up here, but now it looks like the fog is clearing up a little bit. So I think we're going to get some pretty good conditions to shoot in actually. We're going to try to find a better vantage point soon and get some shots of the lake. What, what do you think, Dan? I am beyond excited right now. Yeah. You, it's hard to explain what this looks like. We made it to the top. We had to scale the side of this mountain, but now we're up here, the view is pretty crazy. There is some fog rolling in again, but it's been changing so fast, I think it will roll out again, hopefully, and uh, reveal the lake behind. But even anyway, this is a pretty unbelievable experience to be standing up here. So last night we had a really cool uh, photo shoot on the top of that mountain in the end, but when we went to come down the edge of the mountain, um, I'm pretty sure we went the wrong way. So instead of going back the way we came, we decided to go down the other side because we thought it looked easier, but it ended up not being easier, right? It was, it was way worse. We're on the way down now and this is actually crazy. like. This is one of the scariest things I've done, and I just hope we can uh, get down. I'm gonna be so grateful once we're out of this. <sighs> Literally scaling down the side of a mountain yet again. <sighs> this is terrifying. We were sort of climbing down the side of the mountain, um, kind of almost free climbing. Yeah. And we could see a big drop off the edge, and it was just, it was not good. Once we got down the side of the mountain, we had to walk through the woods at night in the fog, and that was pretty creepy as well. Long story short, we made it, and now it's the next day. We're in the next location for sunset, and we have some pretty cool conditions with the fog again, so we're going to try to get some more shots. We woke up extremely early to revisit the same location the next morning for sunrise. Photography and filmmaking is so much more than just the photos and videos you take. It's moments like these, waking up before the sun and trekking up a mountain with my friends to catch the first light of the day that I remember and cherish the most.